everyone so on today's cooking around the world with des i'm going to be showing you guys how i do my southern style collard greens it's a little bit different from how everyone else makes theirs of course all of my dishes are pretty different i'm going to show you guys how to do it here's all my ingredients guys in right. my sink my clean sink of course i have my collard greens i have two bags i actually got two bags of collard greens from uh publix uh this equates to about two bundles of collard greens you can cut them up really fine this is what you want them to look like and i'm pretty much soaking my collard greens in some water and vinegar just so that they can be clean really well. ingredients i have half of an onion i have some green yellow red bell pepper uh, maybe like one third of each some crystals hot sauce i got about five cloves of garlic three tablespoons of brown sugar, salt, and of course, um, I'm gonna be putting some black pepper. So like my hot pot, I'm gonna get some veggie oil, or you can use olive oil, it's completely optional. I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of oil. I'm gonna add my meat. In this case, I'm gonna be using some ham hocks because uh, I didn't have any neck bones but I normally will use neck bones, pigtails, and ham hocks. I know it sounds pretty much like a pork attack, but uh, it's really, really good, trust me. You can always use uh, smoked turkey if you like and use the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and add my brown sugar to the mix. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is just mix this in. I'm gonna use a pressure cooker because uh, I really wanna get these cooked really fast. And what this brown sugar is gonna do is gonna give it a good flavor and also a nice, look to our ham hocks these are already smoked so when you can imagine smoked uh, ham hocks with a brown sugar always normally turns out pretty well so our uh, ham hocks are caramelized as you can see the top is really well i'm going to start adding my veggies guys this is exactly what you want as you can see the brownness the water is a little brown that's because my um brown sugar is caramelizing the veggies. I'm going to go ahead and put some water in this and I'm going to pressure cook it for maybe an hour so that my meat can get really tender before I start cooking. You guys can see my ham hocks are boiled out and they're really tender. You don't want to add your meat unless um, your meat is off the bone. I'm going to go ahead and transfer my ham hocks into another pot where I'm going to boil my car. Right, guys, so next I'm going to get two cups of water and I'm going to add it to my ham hocks. I'm going to let this boil and then I'm going to put it, uh, put my collard greens in and let them boil down before I even so see my ham hocks are all boiling. I'm going to go ahead and add my collard greens. And we're going to do all of this before we season it, guys. You want your collard greens to be semi-done before you start putting seasoning in it. Go ahead and put a top on and don't worry about your water overflowing. Um, put my top on. I'm going to let these cook down for maybe like 45 minutes before uh, I start adding seasoning on them. I'm going to turn my eye down to maybe about seven or low, well, medium. So my collard greens are about halfway through. I want mine soft. Um, it's up to your liking how soft you want. I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of salt. And it's gonna be salt to taste, guys, so you have to taste it. Add two tablespoons of black pepper. Gonna mix that in there. This looks like a lot, guys, but I probably don't even have enough. Another tablespoon of brown sugar. I'm gonna add my brown sugar in there. And the last step, guys, for a lot of people put like scotch bonnet peppers in theirs, but I'm gonna put some hot sauce because hot sauce gives it a very good flavor crystal hot sauce and i'm going to add about five tablespoons of crystal hot sauce and i'm going to stir this in i'm not making it too spicy but the hot sauce does give it a really good kick you want to taste your water to see if you need more salt or pepper and then i'm going to let these cut cook down for additional Let's just say 15 minutes, guys. Collard greens are officially done. They're soft like I want them to be or tender. Um, taste and see if you might need a little bit more salt. Um, but for the most part, mines are done. So 
if you like this recipe, let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think I should have done different? What do you think I should have added? Like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.